I guess her parents didn't teach her not to put her hands on other people. But anyways, man, welcome back to another episode of BS I Found on the Internet, man. <laughs> Alright, check this video trick out, man. I did it myself and it was actually pretty astounding. This image has actually no colors. Stare at the red dot in the middle for five seconds. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Close your eyes for another five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Now open your eyes. Did it get you? It got me too, man. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> when I saw it, I literally laughed out loud, bro. So here we have another female influencer trying to expose people. What is she even trying to expose, man? People going about their day in the gym? If she was trying to make some entertaining gym content, it should be something like this. <laughs> now that shit funny, you know what I'm saying? Especially with my guy in the back dying, bro. My guy is struggling to lift up the bar. <laughs> dying from laughter, bro. <laughs> Uh, that man need to get his weight up, man, because that is just the bar. Come on, man. So, guys, have you ever wondered where the most beautiful women in the world are? What country has the most attractive women? Firstly, what country allegedly has the ugliest women? Well, according to the surveys, the country with the ugliest women is the United Kingdom. They have zero surprised. Miss Universe titles, but maybe one day they will. But what country supposedly has the most beautiful women? In fifth place, it is Mexico. Mexico is home to three oh, Miss okay. Universe titles, and the Mexican, nice Mexican women have been known for their natural beauty and bubbly personalities. In fourth place, we move downwards to Brazil. Brazil is nicknamed Brazil, the, home okay. of the supermodel and is is home to two Miss Universe hey, Brazil got some baddies, Brazilian I'm not gonna women lie. are globally known for their natural beauty. In third place, we move upwards to the United States United of America, States, okay. who have the most titles for Miss Universe, fair, fair. holding most of those probably from Miami. titles, and have many women of many ethnicities Come on. Africa's and not even under, bro. In second place, we move all the way across to Asia. Damn. It is the Philippines. This Southeast Phil Asian country no, is I've home been to hearing about them Filipinos. Miss Universe titles and have been consistently voted as one of the most beautiful Asian countries. And finally, in first place, it is the the South American country, Venezuela. Venezuela. Venezuela has won the Miss Universe title mm. over seven times. What's your thoughts? Let me know down below and follow this page for more facts. And this man does not say nothing about Africa. I know Africa got some baddies, bro. Ethiopia, fucking. I love me some Ethiopian girls, man. You know what I'm saying? If, if you're from Ethiopia and you're watching this, shout out to you. But Venezuela, I could see that, man. Venezuela does have some baddies. I'm not going to lie. The fucking whole South America, Venezuela, Colombia, Brazil, Ecuador, they do have some baddies, bro. So I'm I'm not surprised. So here's a video of people asking some real questions, man. This man went around and asked, what's one thing you're not afraid to admit as a black person? And this is what the people answered. What's conversation that black people aren't ready to have? Um, that we cause most of the problems to ourselves. Hey, what's conversation that black people aren't ready to have? Uh, HBCUs are just normalizing segregation. 90% of the people are black. There's no, like, cultural integration in there, so mm -hmm. it's still segregated. Hey, what's conversation that black people Man. are not ready to have? White people have every right to wear braids at this point. Because we wear wigs. We be wearing blonde wigs, regular wigs. We want to wear the nice little curly, nice little straight hair. Facts. Mm -hmm. Facts. We, like, it's no different. Hey, what's conversation that black people are not ready to have? They only have light skins and dark skins. Brown skins is not a thing. Hey, what's conversation that black people are not I don't agree. A uh, paternity test should be mandatory. All right, why say that? Because too many black women are not letting their kids know their biological father. Hey, what's conversation that black people aren't ready to have? Y'all on y'all kids severely and then say it's discipline whenever y'all just the out of your kid. Those conversations that black people aren't ready to have. They are overly like idolizing the struggle. Like they feel like <laughs> uh just because if a person doesn't grow up with this or didn't grow up with this, they automatically not and this video right here only shows me that we need to fucking have a conversation, bro. We need to sit down and have a peaceful, civilized conversation and get all our thoughts together. And this is why I think cancer culture is very toxic, man. I think it's doing more harm than good at this point. Cause now people are afraid to say what they gotta say. Cause we do need to have these conversations so we can actually solve these issues. If everyone keeps their shit in their minds, we won't know what everyone's thinking and how to solve and how to solve this shit and make the world a better place. You know what I'm saying? All right, so now that we had that conversation, let's go to the strip club. Really nigga? Low, I go low -er. And so far, it can work. Bro, I never seen no shit like that. I don't even know why he's at the club. Go get some money, my guy. <laughs> you can't be broke and be out in the club every night, man. Come on now. And this video right here is a prime example of why you should keep your hands to yourself. Who made this 
So she starts to hit him. I don't know why, because this is a different language, but she just starts to hit him for no reason. I guess she didn't expect him to hit back until he did. And I can't show the full thing on YouTube, so go to my Patreon to see the full, unedited, uncensored clip. I do not advocate for men hitting women. Me personally, if I was in this situation, I would just push her away and walk away from the situation, create some space. But I'm not like other men. Other men will give her the Kamehameha wave, man. They will give her the big bang attack. You know what I'm saying? Spirit bomb on the ass. All right, in this video, this girl just keeps hitting the guy and he doesn't hit back at all. Say it again. Say it again. Say it again. Say it again. What's her name? He just has a straight face the whole time, man. And I don't know how much of this I can show on YouTube. So again, go to Patreon for this. He said, can you stop hitting my friend? <laughs> You know it's taboo for him to hit a girl. Why don't you go ahead and defend him? You're just gonna sit there and watch him get hit. Come on now, man. You're supposed to be a friend. Isn't that what friends do for each other? In this situation, you see he tried to walk away, but the girl kept coming back. What I would do is, I would have to pin her down on the ground, immobilize her. And if she comes back again, And here's a video I found of a man getting caught up with two girls, and he had two girls fighting over him. I'm single as hell. Go. So, no, bro. I'm leaving, bro. No, 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 no. Chill, 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 chill. No, so I think no, his no, side no, piece no, came no, to the no, door no. all angry. Oh, uh, for real, chill, chill. Can Turn this shit off. Can you do me a favor? Wait. You should go upstairs. Okay. Damn, she's knocking good, the good, shit good, out good, that good, door. Good, <laughs> okay, so he got the white girl go upstairs. Ain't no way he gonna let her in, bro. Knocking like that. No, no, let me oh, she came in through the back. Yeah, bro, she's hot. Oh, shit. She, she went right up the stairs. Damn. Lauren, where are you? She's leaving. I'm done. No, here, here. I'm guy. She's leaving. No, I need no, to talk no, to you. No, I don't want to talk. No. Why? No, no, no. Why? No, no, that girl no. in love, okay, bro. she can stay. Go home, bro. She go can home. stay. I don't, if you go home, bro. I don't know. I but she said she can no. stay. No. She said, no. No, no. no. If we can talk, if you go home. Wait. And I'll come over tomorrow right now and go. I can't have no. you over tomorrow. Yeah, bro. That girl is in love, bro. She is digmatized. I don't know what kind of stroke game he be laying down on her. But he, he Mario with this shit, so he be laying the pipe. You know what I'm saying? I wish I had girls fighting over me. I get no hoes, man. And that's why I need y'all to go follow my Instagram so I can have some social proof and get some hoes, all right? Follow my IG, man. I respond to all DMs. And with all this drama, we got to combat it with some positivity, man. Check out this nurse's reaction when she find out that her patient can walk again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Goodness, thank you. Yes, thank you, Lord. Thank you. Oh, I like it. I like it. Oh my God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Now, as a nurse, do you know how fulfilling that is for her? She is on cloud nine right now, man. And I love that for her. Cause someone you take, seeing someone you're taking care of actually blossom, that's a very fulfilling feeling right there, man. This girl got up off that wheelchair and said, All right, back to the BS, man. I'm plus sizing on a plane. Of course, I can't fit the tray down now. I'm plus sizing on a plane. Of course, I'm gonna sit beside the smallest member of my family. I'm plus sizing on a plane. Of course, the armrest is digging me. And plus size and on a plane, of course I have to shimmy down the aisle sideways. And plus size and on a plane, of course I need to see pelvic center. I ain't gonna lie, it was funny as hell when she was walking through the aisle. <laughs> the, the whole thing is just awkward, bro. <laughs> All her problems could be solved by just losing some weight. Go walk. Get off the couch. Stop eating so much. 
go to the gym. They would rather start World War III before they lose some weight. It's tough. And meanwhile, you got the fat man making content like this. I don't want to see that. I don't, why did I even put this in the video? Why was I thinking? What was I thinking, bro? Celsius? I never seen a dog with Asian eyes, bro. What the fuck? Why would you? Why would you name a dog like this? Chingy. All right, so let's get back to this video right here. He canceled our date at the last minute. And broke up with me. Damn, y'all need to do better, bro. But because he's not sure about dating a trans girl. Oh. 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 Okay. I see. So I'm always seen as an embarrassment. I'm sick of feeling more like a fetish than a human. Mm. No one really wants to know me. They just want to play with my feelings. So she gave you eat McDonald's. You, you gonna eat your feelings away with McDonald's? Just get some Chipotle. McDonald's is ass, bro. Trash. If anything, the McDonald's pissed me off more than anything, bro. Like, what the hell? McDonald's is booty cheeks, bro. Out of all the food you could have picked, you picked McDonald's? Come on, man. If you're a trans woman and you date straight, man, you definitely gotta be wary. You gotta be careful. I would say, if you're gonna date a straight man, you gotta take it slow. Real slow. To make sure they're actually serious about you. Don't give up the the coochie or whatever you got. <laughs> I don't know what you got down there. <laughs> don't give it up so willy-nilly, you know what I'm saying? Just wait. See if they're actually serious about you. Because a lot of straight men... Honestly, are you even straight if you date a trans girl? Because they do... Some of them be looking like girls. And some of them do have that surgery down there with that fake pum-pum, you know what I'm saying? Because you have instances where men sleep with trans women... And don't know that they were ever trans. So in some instances, I don't think it's gay. But if you willingly know that she's trans, it, it might it might be a little gay. It might be a little ditty. You know what I'm saying? You might be a little ditty, especially if they don't have the surgery down there. Oh, that might be full ditty. Whole there's a whole lot of ditty, no puff. All right, man. So let's switch the topic. Let's look at the best of live news bloopers, man. Because I always think news bloopers are funny as hell. And if you guys laugh at any instance in the video, comment below. And make sure you leave a like, bro. Leave a like. Help a brother out, man. Help a brother out. I need to pay my taxes. Not so pale. You're on it. Today's snow is crippling much of the Washington <laughs> lowlands. DD Mega Doo Doo. I'm sorry. Mangudu. <laughs> Can you demonstrate for us what it's like to brush our teeth pet just a little bit? Brush our certainly. teeth pet. I, I like how you just went with that. I'm ducking. So certainly. Everything. I, in the house, I'm, I got scared. I dropped my hot pocket. Over the last two years, <laughs> hundreds have landed in the <laughs> Summit County high as hell, man. Examiner's Office. My brother used to break in our house and steal the TV. But now he's dead. <laughs> we'll probably sit around Yo. and cook some soups and eat bread and desserts and just get all fat and sassy. Hey, she on A slight crack. chance of some particip participation? Participate? Per per oh, oh, we participating now, huh? Rain. <laughs> she said, fuck it. Rain. Some rain that will be moving into our area. It's okay. Come a little closer. Do I'm going to stay over here by Joni. Do they know? Do they do? <laughs> Hold him tight. Hold him tight. Hold him tight. I am. I am. Hold him tight. It couldn't be me, bro. It couldn't be me. I am. It's okay. You will never see me holding a reptile, bro. Because <laughs> me and my ex went to like a zoo where you can hold the alligators and shit. I didn't want no parts of that, man. We took a picture together. She was holding it. And I was over here just... Posing for the picture, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Keep me, I, I keep me away from reptiles, man. I, I, I don't know, man. Something about reptiles and snakes, man. So this man works at a convenience store and he pranks people in the hood by giving them a pink lighter. And if you know about the hood, man, they don't play that shit, man. They don't play that diddy shit. Which is why it's so taboo for a rapper from the streets to be diddy. And if y'all don't know now, Diddy equals homo. If y'all don't know. My boy, bro. Like, bro, you, you doing some weird shit, bro. Bye. 
Pussy, pussy, give me a pink lighter for it, bro. Take that shit back. Bro. Hey, yo, chill, bro. Hey, bro, hey, bro, hey, bro. Bro, what the fuck? All of this <laughs> over a pink lighter. I can't show this part because he started bleeding. To be honest, that was just straight <laughs> instant karma. Just because I truly do believe that he wasn't even all mad. He just did it just to do it. You know? <laughs> you say he just did it just to do it. <laughs> bro, imagine getting that mad over a pink lighter, bro. I still got these glasses on. Imagine, imagine getting that mad over a pink lighter. <laughs> And the thing is, he probably wasn't even that mad, bro. Because <laughs> when you act like this, you are easy to control. Your emotions have control over you, and people can use that against you, man. Because honestly, guys, I'm like that. And that is something I had to work on, man. I had to literally journal that shit, say, control your emotions, man. Be cool, calm, collected. I'm not saying I'm a hothead like that, for sure. I'm the type of guy that keeps that shit in. And then one day... <laughs> So I had to learn about controlling your emotions and creating boundaries and communicating the way you feel. Because I suck at communicating the way I feel because I think no one cares, bro. Like, why should I share my problems with anybody? And the thing is, people usually share their problems with me. But I never share my problems with anyone. Because I'm like, man, people don't care about this shit. Like, I don't need to burden people with my problems. But then I had to learn to grow out of that, bro. And I'm still learning to grow out of that. Because I had to talk with my brother the other day. I live with my brother, y'all. And he he shares things that he's going through. But I never really share with him. One day, I just flipped out, y'all. I don't know what it was. It was a stress. I guess I was going through a lot of stress. I flipped out. I almost punched a hole in my door, bro. And after that, I went for a walk, cleared my head. And me and my brother had a long talk. And he was like, yeah, bro, you got to share, man. You got to let this shit off your chest. I'm like, damn, you're right, man. You're my brother. I should be able to talk to you and share everything I'm going through. And if y'all are in the same predicament, and if you have somebody that's close to you, talk to them, bro. Don't be afraid to talk. Let that shit out, man. Don't hold that shit in, because one day it's going to be too much. You're going to end up punching a hole in your door. Because I want to be transparent with you guys. I don't want to hold any, anything back from y'all, man. I think I still got the... I could show I could show y'all the door, too. I didn't even mean to punch a hole in the door. I just opened the door. But I was so enraged that it ended up having a little hole. Bro. Look at this shit. See that? I just, I just like, pushed the door. Crazy, man. Because I didn't even know I did that, bro. Until later, I looked at the door like, oh, shit, what the fuck? <laughs> so, especially as men, we do need to facilitate our emotions properly. You can't just hold that shit in. It can be very dangerous. And imagine if your girl saw that shit. If you flipped out one day in front of your girl, she's never going to look at you the same. She's actually going to think you're weak because you let your emotions get the best of you. Girls, they cry all the time. You know, they're very emotional. We know that. But as men, we do have to be the rock. But you also have to be with people that you can communicate with. People that understand that you're also human and you're not a robot and you stress out. You know what I'm saying? After sharing that with y'all, I just feel like a weight lifted off my shoulders, bro. Something inside me just switched. I could feel it. It's like, damn. If y'all are still watching at this point. I hope this reaches some of y'all that's going through the same situation. Because I know everyone stresses out, man. And I guess that is why I should share, man. All right, enough of that bullshit. Let's get to this bullshit. <laughs> this is one of the most delicious pancakes in the world. That's it's some bullshit. It's delicious whether eaten alone or wrapped in meat. It is made according to ancient production You need production a pedicure, bro. <laughs> no added chemical raw materials. So I bet when you eat this and someone asks you how it is, you're going to be like, that shit was totastic. You know? <laughs> Not funny. No, don't be rude, Nappa. So you want some extra toe with your pancakes? Stop spying on us, you ugly! And don't spying on us again! All right, and here's a video that I found on Twitter with these two black kids, actually three black kids, because one's recording, pretty much harassing a little white girl, bro. Oh, yeah. Throw it on the ground. <laughs> And I can't even blame the kids because they're still little kids, man. Because the parents are the ones to blame. Where are they getting this behavior from? No child will act this way if they didn't learn it from somewhere. But if this was two white girls harassing a black girl, it would go super viral, man. It would be super viral. But this shit is also not acceptable at all, man. The parents need to do better. And with that said, y'all, I'm going to end the video right here. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.